<laughs> Garcon. Girl dating. Girl dating. So we're really gonna have a girl dinner yeah. together and yeah. get to know one another, one another on a deeper level. Yeah. While also applying makeup. And I feel like we've known each other for a really long time. Yeah. But like, I feel like you should date your friends. You have to. Like, that's a relationship too. You have to keep the magic Hello. going, and you can't get comfortable. Are you ready to be I'm served? Ready. <laughs> Course number one. So we have some foundation. I'm gonna ask you a question. What would you constitute as a perfect day for you? I think a perfect day for me is. You wake up early, mm -hmm. weather's nice, sun is out, whether it's going out, hanging out, maybe a few drinks here, yes. and some brunch. Yes. And then getting cute for like dinner and things. I just like getting dressed. I like being out. Perfect maybe day. have a little meet cute, maybe. A you little know? meet cute. Drop my books. Say, oh my gosh, <gasps> hi. Oh, I'm Carla. <laughs> Nice to meet you. That's so sweet. I yeah. love that. I love waking up early, mm -hmm. but I would really just have some like time for myself. So I like to journal and then I like to, you know, just cleanse the energy of my space, mm -hmm. hang out with some friends, see my family, mm -hmm. do like a really nice bougie boozy dinner with the girls. Hello. Or maybe a boy, I don't know. <laughs> I think YouTube that's before after dark, honey. I think that's a different <laughs> day. <laughs> On to the next meal. Garçon. Garçon. Oh, what do you value most in a friendship? Ooh. <sighs> I value so many things, but I think number one for me would have to be loyalty because I'm a ride or die girl. I also really value comedy. I love people who don't oh, take themselves yes. too seriously. Yes. Wait, I love these. I've never used these. You just go on so well. You don't even need a brush. I don't really like it. Should we? <laughs> <laughs> Spit Blush. Serving. You're making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something that you've dreamed of doing for a long time? Why haven't you done it? I feel very lucky to say that. Like, I think we've been able to do so many amazing things just within yeah. the space that we work in and our jobs. Mm -hmm. I feel really good about where I'm at, yeah. that I don't feel like I have anything that I should have done that I haven't. I always tell myself I'm gonna start going to the gym to get a little bit of like a booty. Okay. Um, and then I just get, get those gains, girl. And then I just get lazy. <laughs> I literally get lazy because I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just a little girl. I, I wouldn't say work out. you're not lazy. You're just prioritizing your rest. Something I've always dreamed of doing for a long time is just like being married and having kids. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> I know. And why? Why haven't I done it? I don't know, it's not the time well, yet, it's I guess. Well, it's, it's, it's up to two people. <laughs> yeah, so. it's up to, yeah. I hate to break it to you, toots. Oh, that's better, or you can. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, Delicious. Delish. I feel like we're getting really deep here. Mm. Lips. Your house, <laughs> your house <laughs> containing everything you own catches on fire. After saving your loved ones and pets, you have time to safely make a final dash to save any one item. What would it be and why? I don't really care for things things, but I would save my dining table because my grandma gave that to my parents for their wedding mm -hmm. and then she passed it on to me. How I'm gonna grab that in a rush, I don't know, but like, <laughs> because it just has so much sentimental meaning to it for me. Yeah. Um, and the fact that she bought that for my parents for their wedding and then, listen, I'm one of three girls and the fact that I got it from my mamita, I'm not saying I was the favorite, but what would you save? Um, the boy that I was like in love with like forever, the mm. first night we met, like he got me like this pink rose that I took home mm. and obviously let it die and dry and it's just yeah. been preserved oh, I have those too. in a box yeah. somewhere. So, oh. And there were times where I'm like, okay, I'm so over him, I'm gonna throw it away. Yeah, and I you're never like, wait, did. just kidding, I'm gonna keep that. Mm -hmm. Hold on, this lip actually, sorry. I love it. It's so good. This one looks really cute too. Yeah. Mm. It's very us. Yeah. Next close, wait, one, <laughs> one, wait. two. And with that, garçon. <laughs> and voila, dessert. El final. If a crystal ball could tell you the truth about yourself, your life, the future or anything else, what would you want to know? I like the surprise of things. I mm -hmm. like not knowing or having to expect anything, but having been single as long as I've been single, like, let me just know if he's coming, if he exists. Is he even born yet? Like, yeah. does, is he just somewhere? Yeah. I think it's supposed to happen too when you least expect it. That's what I heard. 
I've had moments where I expected, I had moments where I just, you know, and yeah. I just want to know, is he around? Yeah. I would just want to know, like, I feel like I'm already living my truth, so this That's, one's hard. Yeah. I will say, I did see a psychic, not see a psychic, it was like via phone. Yeah. And she was like, Carla is going to get married. There is there's going to be a man, but she has to be very, 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 very patient. And at that point, I was like 28 or 29. I'm like, well, yeah. how much more patient? Yeah. Because, and now it's been like five years. years since that. Yeah. Wait, wait, it's what's been It's been 80 years. He's going to show up. I feel like of he's going to show up. No, no. He's going to show up yeah. when I'm like 75. That's enough. Already just like, <laughs> oh. And it's going to be like my nurse or something. I love these questions. I love you. I love you too. Uh, check, please. Oh, check, please. <laughs> Yum.